For the base block now square at uh, both ends, the next operation is to drill the four bolt holes in each one in each corner. To do that, I first need to set the block up square on the table. Um, as you can see here, I've got the block loosely clamped on the table with the dial gauge, which will be running along the left-hand surface, as we can see, what, I, what I've actually noted as my reference surface. So both those end cuts have both been done in relation to this side. So what we do now, we just run the table up and down, uh, use a little hammer to knock the block to get it exactly square, and then we'll clamp it firmly down. Starting at this end, we'll zero the gauge. And loosely clamp this end. This clamp will effectively now become our pivot point. Okay, to zero that. And then we'll run the table this way and see how much deviation we got. Okay, so it looks about half a mil. Give that a gentle tap. Back to our reference point. It's looking pretty damn good for the first go. So again, we will zero here, which is effectively our clamp point around our pivot. There we go. And what we got there, 0 0.4, 0 0.04 little tap to bring that back. So 0 0.01 millimeters over, probably about 100 mil. That's good. That's the first corner centre drilled, just a small mark to get the main drill in. I now need to move the table across 100 millimetres. I now move the table back to centre drill the two holes on the front. With each hole now centre marked, I've swapped out the centre drill for a six millimetre diameter drill which I use to pilot all four holes before opening out to eight millimetres. Sorry, that's not six millimetres, that's a 4.9 millimetre drill. And the final hole at this size. The 
with all four holes drilled out at 4.9 millimeters, I'll now run down through with an 8 mil drill to open up the full size. I've dropped the speed of the milling machine down as well. We're running about 300, what are we, 240, 250 revs at the moment. Ideally I'd be fitting allen cap bolts so therefore counterboring these holes to allow the allen cap head but uh, unfortunately I don't have any available. All I've got is these counter sunk heads which so what I'll do is I'll put a counter sink in each one of the holes for these bolts and then later once I've sourced some allen cap bolts I'll come along and counterbore for the allen cap heads. All four bolt holes have now been countersunk. Using the countersunk bit in the mill. Not ideal, not what I really wanted, but it'll certainly help in the short term. And if needs be, I can come back and counterbore to fit some Allen cap bolts. For the T nuts, I only had some three quarter inch square bar, which I've had to machine down quite a bit, unfortunately, but it's all I had in the cupboard. So there we are. Now have that at 11 half millimeters, which would be the total height of the T nut from top to bottom. I now need to uh, measure, sorry, now I now need to cut the two shoulders and also reduce the overall width. bolts and one solid piece of bar have all been machined to shape so before I drill and tap the threaded holes um, and then cut them off into four individual pieces we'll just do a quick test fit and we can see that fits quite nicely and it's probably not visible a bit of ruler across the top there's a good millimeter gap between the bed and the top of the T-nut bar. So what we'll do now is we'll drill and tap the four eight millimeter holes and then we'll cut it off into the four individual T-nuts. I started the threads as you saw in the vise using a little attachment to ensure they were going down centrally and square and I finished them off with the hand wrench. Interesting enough I made this uh, particular wrench back in my apprenticeship days at Bridgewater Technical College in around about 1980-81. So it's uh, an old bit of kit that I made many many years ago. Still going strong.
This is the first of the four holes that will be tapped. I'm running through with the taper at this point. I am at least trying in part to do old school of quarter cut, half a turn back off to break the burr. I see a lot of people nowadays just dive straight in, often under power. It makes me cringe. What I do, I won't show it now, but I'll, I'll run this tap this taper through all the three holes before moving on to the plug. All four holes have now been tapped using the taper or first depending on your choice of uh, name. Um, I've ran the plug down the first three holes somewhat academic but I'll just finish off now by running it down through the last hole and therefore ensuring we've got a good thread in all four. And as expected, it's just running straight down through, which is good. All that remains now is uh, to cut the blocks into their individual pieces and deburr, and we should be good to go. <coughs> The 14 nuts have now been cut to size and as you can see they have been fitted in the slots on the carriage table and the base plate bolted to it with the four bolts one in each corner. I'm probably going to blue the T nuts using some heat and some oil, I'll do that later.